it's that time of year once again to start earning some double XP. The summer double XP live event is just around the corner, so stock up on everything you need, prepare, mark your calendars, and get ready for some XP gains. Double XP live is a 10 day event where you have 48 hours to use your double XP as your leisure. You can pause the timer at any time so you won't lose a second in precious training. Double XP starts Friday, August 2nd, and lasts until Monday, August 12th, starting and ending at 12 p.m. game time. And with this double XP weekend, they continue to improve the double XP store and tokens, making the following update. Double XP tokens and the double XP store are no longer supported on free to play world. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video so far, please hit that like button if you're not subscribed yet, and you'd like to stay up to date on all things RuneScape related, then hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Shifting gears, so taking a look at the patch notes, we'll see what's been changed with today's update. Taking a look at the Sanctum of Rebirth, the Divine Rage skill guide entry now shows the correct icon. Added a missing full stop at the end of Metcat's dialogue. Vermix, reflected souls are counted correctly now when they spawn on the same tile. Fixed an issue with the despawn animation for the Nephi pet that resulted in stuttering when used as a familiar override. Fixed an issue that prevented players Nakatra, Devour Eternal Kill Count from being displayed when the Nephi pet was used as a familiar override. Fixed an issue with the line of Iklaren's dialogue in the soul searching quest that would show the player's chat head instead of Iklaren. Fixed an issue that caused the rare drop spot anim in the Sanctum of Rebirth to disappear if a player used surge at the same time as the spot anim triggered. Following feedback, reduced the soul fire damage effectiveness in PvP from 50 to 30%. Nakatra's shockwave attack also deals damage in the center now. Fixed an issue with the broadcast message showed a higher kill number when a player got the Sanctum of Rebirth boss pet. Fixed an issue that made it possible to open the treasure hunter chest outside of the Sanctum of Rebirth without entering the bank pin. Following feedback, the hitbox for Nephthys within the Sanctum of Rebirth have been increased slightly to make it easier to attack. Updated the calendar entries for Sanctum of Rebirth and Free Death Week to extend until the 4th of August. Free Death's event itself has been extended until the 4th of August. Taking a look at the Underworld Area Task, fixed an issue causing the BYOB Elite Area Task to not be completed when wearing the Herb Lord Master Cape. Lupe now correctly mentions Underworld Area Task. Cut the Moonstone step from passing the test. Hard Underworld Area Tasks can now be completed before completing the Mythical Moonstone Achievement. Moving on to some general changes, the Iron Man plaque in Edgeville has been updated to include first Iron Man and Hardcores to reach 99 Necro, 120 Archaeology, 120 Necro, first Iron to Double Agent Gold, first Hardcore to unlock final boss gold, first iron to unlock warden gold, first hardcore to unlock warden gold, first iron man to unlock iceborne gold, first iron man to unlock wrath of chaos gold, first iron man to unlock lord of chaos, and first iron man to unlock the bracel gold title. Fixed an issue that caused skeleton archer NPCs inside the shadow reef to not attack the player while standing on the bridge. Emerald, ruby, and diamond cranes can once again be searched for and purchased on the grand chain. Corrected the polycolors of some NPCs to make them more consistent. Fixed a typo in the spike to Kotlin's message. The shadow tendril ability should now damage the player once while using mechanized chinchampas, making the ability single target even if the weapons hit multiple at the same time. Various lines in the Ratch Catcher's quest have been updated to third person dialogue rather than character dialogue. Fixed an issue with the rainbow unicorn plushie that caused it to stretch when equipped by the player. Clan chat list and Valor clan notice board now redirect to the clans section of the website. Readjusted the description for race for the soul achievement in order to make them more consistent. Imp catcher quest beads can now be reobtained after destroying or losing them. Fixed an issue with the Legion's boss pet collection log that showed a typo in the Legio Quarless tooltip. Remove the normal mode kill requirement from the insane final boss achievement. Fixed an issue that prevented Hermod and Raziel from taking reflect damage. Fixed an issue that caused players to be able to complete wilderness flash events before they properly scale up to the number of players participating. And players will no longer be able to convert bonds into membership passcode. Existing codes will continue to function. Bonds can still be used to grant 14 day membership to the account that activates and that is it for your patch notes links to everything discussed in this video will be down in the description below head on over there check them out if you wish to do so if you missed last week's video it'll be on screen now just click it and head on over there and i'll see you momentarily if not i'll see you with the next runescape news update video until then i am out aloha